Hi, I'm Quentin Peterson, president of RQ Productions and founder of the CEO Project. I got started in Washington, D.C. five years ago. I had been an event planner for 10 years in sports and entertainment and had decided if I were to get back into the business that I would do so and only do events with a cause. Some of the events that I've done over that time period included book readings for St. Elaine Harris, I've also done private residence events for Oscar James, Damone Roberts, Gina Avery, some of my industry friends, along with, say, Vanessa Williams and then Patty LaBelle's management company out in L.A. So after a five-year hiatus, I'm back. I've launched two brands, On Q Productions, which is where we do online content development, event production, and film and television projects. And then it all goes to benefit the CEO project, which is my nonprofit. What makes the CEO project unique to me is that it's a community that is galvanized by a single motivation, which is to drive enterprise development opportunities to the urban community. This is supposed to be fun. I'm not taking no work to the game. See, I needed to um, put that thing on the calendar. <clears throat> I'm trying to keep this calendar up to date as much as possible. So I can, uh... A little tray table would be nice to be able to just fold down and to have, you know, to be able to write from. I think we should consider that. Look right here. There's a little indention here, just a little table that can fold over to where you can write on. Those are the kind of little things that I think are really, you know, add some, um, you know, nice little elements. To put it on the back of this seat, they do that on those Lincoln. Well, yeah, but it, that seat is up, you know, and even still, I was talking about even putting like something here to advertise. We need a little sticker right here, something that says book your next reservation on you know online or something like that you know what I mean if this seat is is retracted mm -hmm. you can't do a tray table there but yes it would be nice to have them come out of there as well did we do anything last Sunday we didn't do anything last Sunday so we went from we had one two three four five six seven eight bookings in 10 days that's eight bookings in 10 days and so we have one two three four five bookings this week alone that was a damn good week Part of what OnQ Production does is event planning. We've done anything from an industry concert after party all the way to a black tie red carpet affair. But what our truest passion is is the events with the cause. For instance, we recently did an event with an author who was uh, promoting her second penmanship having to do with autism. She wanted to do an event that would bridge the uh, education directly towards the African American community and so therefore we put together an event for her, a book signing and release uh, event that went over very well. As I stated earlier, autism showed up at my front doorstep and I actually couldn't accept the disorder and what I found out was I had more of a hard time with Jesse than he did. He was living in the world that God had created for him, and I was the one that was just in total denial. So for years and years, I, I, I just kept fighting and fighting the unknown and not submitting and just letting go. So he, eventually, I was able to find peace with the situation. Anytime you have an ordeal, you must find peace within that situation.
your book organizations that uh, can help the parents get some help when they don't know what to do or how to do it or what avenues to take? Well, in the book, I, what I did was I actually listed the journey I took. And one thing about autism is so many, it's so much more awareness now than it was in 96 when my son was diagnosed. From 96 to 2002, it was kind of when it's common. So now, with, you know, we participate in our first autism walk in uh, L.A. back in April. So I'm, I'm, I'm still, you know, kind of learning a lot myself. And I'm able to just go through my journey as far as the help that I received, the specialists, the doctor's names, all that's listed in the book. Again, thank you so much on Q Production, Taste of Class, Lisa and Candace. Again, thank you, Hearsay, Gastro Lounge. We couldn't have done this without each and every one of you all. Thank you so much. Event management is a lot of work. The, the bigger the event, it doesn't really matter. Some events are smaller, but you're dealing with a lot of deadlines, timetables, down to milliseconds almost sometimes, but you're also dealing with personalities, egos, you're dealing with uh, vendors, you're dealing with uh, management of celebrities, you're dealing with publicists, you're dealing with a lot of different components, but it's nothing more rewarding. Uh, than dealing with a nonprofit event because then you get to walk away at the end of the evening exhausted mind you but still feeling like you've done something to help someone. I see the future of OnQ as being very bright. I'm excited about the events that we're continuing to do. I'm excited about the online content that we're developing that will address some of the essential programming needs that the community I think is lacking. But most importantly, I think that it's going to be a real cornerstone in terms of developing a new model for how you do business in the urban community. need this particular program because much like the family itself in the African-American community, it has been operating with a single parent mentality. Our businesses have been operating with a single uh, vision mentality and that is for profit. The CEO project, I think, brings about change in that we can partner a nonprofit with a for-profit business that will then benefit the community. And by having that business managed, it's a startup, and by having that partnership create a new entity, it doesn't take away from the for-profit uh, uh, goals and missions of that corporate America-driven uh, 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 business plan, a business strategy. It does not drain uh, on the uh, talent pool and the um, energy that, that, that is oftentimes associated with nonprofit work. Together, I think we can bring, to, bring a new business, a new business model that does not need to make billions, that does not need to make 1,600% times the starting salary of an entry-level worker. This is a new model. This is a new model for doing business, particularly in the urban community, because I believe we need anchored businesses in the community. One of the things I, I, I like to illustrate is that if you go back and look at where we were as a community in the 60s, we were driven by a single need issue, and that could have been uh, voting rights, um, that could have been um, uh, right to eat at, at the same lunch counter. Um, there, were, there was a common cause. And so what I'd like to see and, and, and ultimately believe that the CEO project has a unique opportunity in doing, and that is revolutionizing how we do business in the urban community. We can't use the same business models, I believe, that the, our, our other counterparts do because our needs are so much uh, are, are, are greater. And so my hope is that we can start to um, erase what I see as the consequence of progression. And by that I mean when jobs came to the community, when jobs opened up for African Americans, when jobs and housing opportunities availed us to do better for our children, we moved out to the suburbs and, for, and realistically left Pookie them to defend for themselves. 
And so consequently, you had businesses that were eroding, you had housing and real estate that depreciated, and you had schools dilapidated. We're in my old neighborhood, the neighborhood I grew up in as a child, Ridgemont, uh, known out here as Ridgemont Four. Uh, I'm sure y'all know of the rapper Zero. He came up out of this neighborhood. Uh, I moved to this neighborhood when I was like, probably like four or five years old back in 92. I think I stayed here my senior year. Uh, honestly, it's a real corrupt neighborhood, uh, uh, famous for drug trafficking, prostitution, and all the negative things that you can think of in this neighborhood, that's, that's what went on. And uh, My reason for getting out this neighborhood was uh, just the motivation of not wanting to be a product of my environment, uh, just wanting to do more than what I was around, do more than what I done went through, the things that I done saw, just not wanting to be like my friends uh, ended up just being locked up, some of them being killed, you know what I'm saying? And, that's kind of what the CEO project is all about, just understanding where you come from and, 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 and then also trying to help you get to where you want to go and uh, just, just trying to get you to understand not to be content with where you are, but be more content with where you're trying to go and the positive things that you're trying to do. And so that was my reason for getting out the neighborhood and thanks to the CEO project and the man upstairs, I, I made it out. Day is completely getting away from me. Alvin and his mother are here, trying to get everything wrapped up so we can have this thing tomorrow. So, phone. Oh. All right. What has been your experience with the CEO project and, and where do you see yourself evolving with us at this point? I've had the um, pleasure of meeting some very positive, uh, very successful uh, black males uh, and females. Uh, I've had the um, luxury of going to places I've never honestly been before, like, you know, sitting in a press box at the Texas game. And, um, yeah, with the GM. Yeah, with the, the GM shaking the GM's hand. And, <laughs> you know, um, just being around that that that, that atmosphere, I, I, I feel it, it, it really motivated me. But uh, just having a, a, a another male, you know what I'm saying, around, uh, mentoring me, mm -hmm. um, teaching me the basics uh, as far as just household things, like, cleaning up and uh, cooking and you know uh opening the door for uh, ladies you know what i'm saying uh, <laughs> right you know right. um speaking more than just saying you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying speaking <laughs> learning <laughs> that, learning that it's not you know uncool to be able to speak properly and mm -hmm. you know just learning basically learning to not run away from myself but basically be versatile absolutely this is a goal that we're trying to better my life, better, you know what I'm saying, so that I may be able to give back and better somebody else's life. So I see myself being a successful spokesmodel, mm -hmm. spokesperson. I see myself being able to represent the CEO project in another way, and that's musically. You know, it's already been represented by the, the limo company and, and, and the janitorial company and the production company, and I see myself being, being able to, you know what I'm saying, represent it in my way, and that's musically. Mm -hmm. 
Well, as I said, the CEO is actually an acronym. The C is for community, E is for entrepreneurial education, and the O is for opportunities. Again, we can't promise you anything, but we can certainly provide an opportunity for your music to be heard or for at least you to get with a producer um, that we maybe have a relationship with. But like I said, that's all going to be uh, um, um, d uh, determined by the effort you put into the program. Thus far, I, I can say I'm very proud of you. Um, you've had challenges along the way, but you faced them head on. You haven't let them deter you uh, from your desire in music. And that desire is what is going to keep you um, um, on the path that we hope to help foster for you. This project, it means, it's, it's first off, I gotta say, it's, 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 it's a very, very uh, positive project because you have an opinion in this project about the things that you wanna do. It's about bettering the things that you already wanna do, teaching you how to not just only have the mindset to work for somebody, but to be your own boss. Um, it's a project based on giving back to the community. At the end of the project, I hope uh, success for him and what the project stands for, reaching out and helping a, another young man, because I believe we are our own testimonies and uh, each other counselors, because what you've been through, you can help somebody else to be able to go through it too. So the end of the project, to be able to just, you know, get where you need to be in life or on the steps and be able to just pull somebody else up and not help another young black man. speak to my African American Studies class uh, today about uh, uh, black uh, entrepreneurship uh, focusing on the black man. The future of the CEO project is being a real eye opener uh, to what is possible when all parties come together for one cause, uh, for the common good of all stakeholders. I believe that if we empower individuals, it empowers the family, it empowers the community, and it ultimately empowers America. And so I hope that you will join us in our efforts to again develop entrepreneurs not just employees and and i do believe that we're going to make a big difference in our community